Well, hey, if you're thinking about moving to Baltimore, Maryland, in this video, I'm going to go over like the five luxurious neighborhoods located in Baltimore, Maryland. Uh, we're going to go ahead and get to it after this. I'm John Ruckman, I'm the Charm City Property Dude, and in this video we're going to go over the five luxurious neighborhoods located here in the city. You want to make sure you hang out to the end. I'm giving away my free buyer's guide. Go ahead and make a comment below, but before we do, go ahead and hit the subscribe and like button below and uh, for all these videos and all the other great videos. And by all means, use this channel, submerge yourself into videos. This is everything you want to know about Baltimore. And here we go. Well, I'm standing here in front of Silo Point down here in Baltimore City. And the reason why they call it Silo Point, do you see the old silos here in the background? They're called Silo Point because they used to be the old grain silos down here in the city. But today it is now considered uh, 20, it's a marvel, it's 24 floors. Uh, I E-E-T, really fun stuff. And of course you always have a variety of different people who are walking dogs, and then you also have the people who use scooters, and you have the place that behind you. So yeah, a lot of wonderful stuff here at the Locust Point. And the first of these notorious neighborhoods would be Silo Point. It's not a gated community, but you do have to go through security on the first floor, and then you can go up 24 floors. I've actually had a couple of clients that bought into that building, and when I say it's majestic views, there is nothing like going up to the top floors. And there is a, uh, an observation deck up there. It's more of a, like a, um, a conference room for the people there that can gather for their parties and stuff like that, all at a cost. I'm going to go ahead and post the condo, the prices here, and the condo fees, and that for Silo Point. There you go. So that's the first of our luxurious neighborhoods in Baltimore. All right, so number two on the luxurious places to live here in Baltimore, Maryland, would be Harborview. And this is the big building that's located right behind me. I've mentioned this building a couple of times on uh, other videos, but this, this is the place that Tom Clancy used to live. That's the famous person. And of course, it overlooks the harbor. You have all the ships and stuff like that, and then you have all the different floors. Now, I do know that the condo fees are like several thousand dollars a month. Uh, the first floor units are usually go for about 315, and then all the way up there at the top, it's like 5.7 million. Now, I underestimated the uh, cost on that building in a previous video, I do apologize. Uh, but uh, as into looking into it deeper, yeah, the cost of living in the very top floor there, 5.7 million dollars. So, 
That is considered Harbor View over there. And uh, yeah, the best part about Harbor View is, is down on the bottom. Now it's not a gated community, but there is the security that will allow you in the building. I've only ever been in the building twice. I had a couple of doctors from John Hopkins that were looking for places and they asked me to sell. I was probably about uh, the 10th floor up there and that build, that unit actually went for like 700,000. So uh, you do have some great places down here. Uh, as far as eating, you're real close to Federal Hill over here. You have all the accoutrements. So number four on my luxurious neighborhoods here in Baltimore, Maryland would be Roland Park. Um, I did a video earlier that you have Washingtonville right over here, which is a gated community. Uh, the houses anywhere in Roland Park go from like 219 all the way up to like 1.2, 1.5 million dollars. Um, there's really, you, you're not in a food desert at all. I'm sitting here at Pepe's Pizza, probably like my number three pick for pizza in Baltimore. And I'm sitting right off of Falls Road. I'm, like minutes away from the Mount Washingtonville. You got the uh, Mount Washingtonville shopping center over here where they had the Starbucks, there's a shopping center. You're kind of sandwiched between like the boys Latin schools here. You have Guilford College, you have parts of John Hopkins. Um, definitely, you know, you can walk, jog, run. Great neighborhood to raise uh, your family, great neighborhood for everybody that's interested in Baltimore, but you're just on the outside fray of the city itself and you're a direct shot with public transportation right back down, uh, you know, right back down the road to Baltimore. You're also part of the link route. Uh, you have the rail that's gonna be over here and a fun video coming up soon. I'm gonna actually take the rail, the light rail, and I'm gonna go from Owings Mills all the way down to Baltimore and back just to kind of give you a video of this. So anyway, I'm going to enjoy a slice of pizza. <laughs> Okay, so the third place that's on our luxurious trip of luxury here in Baltimore would be Ponte Villa. Uh, I've mentioned, I couldn't believe the uh, last video I did. I actually kept calling it point to point. But as you can see, you have the units here behind me. Ponte Villa down here in Baltimore. And you can see it's right here on uh, Valente Court. And uh, there's also a promenade. Part of the promenade will walk around. This is actually open. I start talking about Locust Point and I start talking about Fells Point and I start talking about all these different places. This is all connected by this promenade. You can tell it by the... So a little trivia, I took a cruise up to St. John's, Canada and would you believe that around St. John's Inner Harbor are the exact same condos up there. It's almost like the same builder built the same condo. So that's just a little... A little trivia, if you move into St. John's, Canada, great place to go, a uh, great place to go in like October when the leaves are changing up there in Canada, but uh, yeah. So uh, from this view, you can see President Street over there. You can see the power plant, Ram's Head over there with all the concerts, and you also have the uh, aquarium sitting over here. Not a, not a bad view from these units right here. I know these units right there usually go for about $2.7 million to go on top here. So again, this is a Ponte Villa behind me right here, those units right there. I don't know why I was calling it point to point. I was actually standing up on Federal Hill the other day pointing this out. But the units in here are also uh, go from like three, 219, three, all the way up to like $2.7 million. And uh, the condo fees are like $900 a month. And this includes all your upkeep, your maintenance. This includes a master insurance policy. But uh, yeah, this is Ponte Villa and it's connected with the promenade going around. And it's terrible here. And lastly, but not least, I'm here in Stonecliff. This is inside the Jewish A room here in Pikesville. And these houses go for about $1.1 million, 900,000 all the way up to 1.1. I went beyond the gate. I'm sure somebody's gonna stop me and say, why are you filming? Why are you filming? But you can see how big the houses, the colonial houses are behind me. Uh, like I said, the average sales price is 1.1. Uh, this one right behind me was actually just sold. Was just sold. 
uh, not too long ago, and that's what it was going for. And there you have it. Those are like the six, I was only gonna do five, but I did six luxurious neighborhoods located here in Baltimore City and Baltimore, Maryland. These get my top six picks uh, for the areas. If you're moving into the area, you know, these are great places to uh, to live. I mean, you know, what, what could be better than a luxurious feeling of either a high-rise condominium or a huge house on a piece of property just outside of the city? So anyway, this is fun putting together this video. Um, I'm John. I'm the Charm City Property Dude. And look, I get a lot of phone calls from folks just like you every day calling and texting and emailing me. I absolutely love it. Um, if you call, text, or email any day, night, or weekend, don't worry. I've got your back when it comes to real estate. Go ahead and hit the like and subscribe button down below for this and all the other great videos. And you know what? I'll catch you on the next video. And check out, um, yeah, check out this video.